Ellie? Are you here? Nick? Oh, God. It's really you. <laughs> well, it's hard to mistake this mug for anyone else. <laughs> you keep laughing at death. Someday, death's gonna laugh back. Not as long as I got a few friends to back me up. You saved Nick, this agency, and my job. Thank you. Hey, happy to do it. Yeah? Go diving into scary pre-war ruins all the time then, do you? Here. I know an amount wasn't on the table when you went out to find him, but... You deserve a reward. Plus a little something extra. You know, if you're looking for work and don't mind putting on the detective hat, Nick sure could use a new partner. Whoa. One case at a time, Ellie. Our new friend needs our help first. All right, let's get down to business. Take a seat. Make yourself comfortable. When you're trying to find someone who's gone missing, the devil is in the details. Tell me everything you can, no matter how painful it might be. We were in a vault when it happened. Vault 111. It, it was some kind of cryo facility. You were on ice, huh? More importantly, you were underground, sealed up. It's a lot of obstacles to get through just to take one person. What else can you tell me? My wife was... murdered. She was trying to keep them from taking Sean and they... They just... It's okay. You don't need to say anything more. So, we're talking about a group of cold-hearted killers. But they waited until something went wrong to resort to violence. Anything else you remember? There was a man and a woman. They didn't say much. But I remember they called me... the backup. So we're talking a small team. Professionals. The kind that know to keep their lips tight when they're on the job. Not sure what the backup means, though. Anything else you remember? We're looking for my son, Sean. He's less than a year old. Why would anyone take him? Good question. Why your family in particular? And why an infant? Someone would be taking on all of his care, and a baby needs a lot of it. Now that confirms it. This isn't a random kidnapping. Whoever took your kid had an agenda. Hmm. There's a lot of groups in the Commonwealth that take people. Raiders, super mutants, the Gunners, and of course there's the Institute. Wait. Super mutants? What are they? Big, green, muscles on muscles. In other words, hard to miss. I think we can safely rule them out. Who are the Gunners? High-end mercenaries. No job too brutal. They're in the running as likely suspects. They wouldn't be the ones pulling the strings. You think raiders might have done this? <laughs> I honestly doubt it. They can barely organize themselves, let alone pull off something this complicated. So you think this institute is responsible? Well, they're the boogeymen of the Commonwealth. Something goes wrong, everyone blames them. Easy to see why. Those early model synths of theirs strip whole towns for parts, killing everything in their way. Then you got the newer models, good as human, that infiltrate cities and pull strings from the shadows. Worst of all, no one knows why they do it, what their plan is, or where they are. Not even me. And I'm a synth myself. A discarded prototype, anyway. You're a prototype? As far as I know. Never seen any other synth like myself. There's the older ones that are dumb as rocks and all metal, and there's the newer ones that are almost human. I'm somewhere in between. You don't know anything about them? Really? Some kind of security setting strips or blocks out those memories. And it's not just me. Any synth that gets trashed, left behind, or escapes the Institute has the same problem. Probably some kind of failsafe. Either way, I need to find Sean. You're right. The speculation is getting us off track. Let's focus on what you saw. What did these kidnappers look like? The man who... killed my wife. 
He had a handgun. I didn't get a clear look at it. But that sound... Could have been a large caliber revolver. Huh. I'm starting to get a clearer picture of the kind of man our perp is. Anything more you can tell me? I'll never forget that voice. Low and rough. Like sandpaper across your face. Huh. Not much to go on, but a tough and commanding voice can get someone pretty far in the violence business. What else? The woman was dressed in, um... I think it was a kind of hazard suit. The man had some sort of metal brace on his arm. Maybe some kind of improvised armor? A lot of hired guns do that to look tough. The hazard suit is interesting. Not many mercs can afford something that fancy. What else do you remember about them? One of them came right up to me. Bald head. Scar across his left eye. Wait. It couldn't be. You didn't hear the name Kellogg at all, did you? I... might have. I... Everything was foggy. Hmm. It's way too big of a coincidence. Ellie, what notes do we have about the Kellogg case? The description matches. Bald head, scar, reputation for dangerous mercenary work, but no one knows who his employer is. And he bought a house here in town, right? And he had a kid with him, didn't he? Yeah, that's right. The house in the abandoned West Stands. The boy with him was around 10 years old. Maybe it's another kidnapped kid. Yeah, either that or he's got a son of his own. Not a comforting thought in any case. Both of them vanished a while ago. Haven't been heard or seen since. Let's you and I take a walk over to Kellogg's last known address. See if we can snoop out where he went. Security doesn't really go to that part of town, but you two should still be careful. I always am. I didn't want Ellie to hear this, but I think you should know. Everything I dug up about Kellogg before his disappearance is bad news. He's more than just a mercenary. He's a professional. Quick, clean, thorough. Has no enemies, because they're all dead. Except you. Nine to one odds says he's our man. More than just you identifying his distinguishing features. The M.O. is all him as well. Leading a small team to kidnap a baby and leaving one of the parents alive for later? Not many mercs in the Commonwealth can pull that off. Keep an eye out, will you? See if I can get this over. Hey. That's one heck of a lock. That's something to hide, Kellogg? Why don't you give it a try? Nick. Go ahead. See if you have any luck with that door. Nice. Take a look around. Kellogg must have left something behind. Place seems small to you? Figured a guy like Kellogg would think big. Nothing here. Did you check out that desk? Well, that's one way to hide a room. Well, 
look at this. All of a Merc's favorite things. Gwinnett Stout Beer, 44 caliber bullets, and cigars. San Francisco Sunlights. Hmm, interesting brand. Won't lead us anywhere on its own, though. I wonder if dog meat could pick up the scent. Say, that's not a bad idea. Some dogs out there in the Commonwealth can track a man for miles. Well... Dog meat seems eager for the job. Why don't you let him have a whiff? See if he picks up on the trail. Uh, before you head out, uh, I know this is personal business. If you have to face Kellogg on your own, just say so. I want you with me on this, Nick. All right. Well, let's get that bastard. This is your show from here on out, okay? You say jump. I'll say how high. Dog meat. Get the scent, boy. Take me to him, boy. Take me to Sean. Thank you. 